Is this really a grind to win game? Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Because uh, I'll show you. I'm not gonna play another match, so you guys can. Uh... Sorry, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm about done streaming. I gotta get some some work in. But if you look at the progression system, right? So you start out, you enter the game. You have one, you have one rifle. So if you're on um, rebels, you get, or if you're on imperials, you get the EM11, which I'm not about to play Imperial next, so I, I wouldn't be able to use it unless I unlocked it, unlocked it. And then you get, uh, the Rebels get this, the A280C. And that's the weapon you get. This is the first one you can unlock, which is great, because this is a great, great, great all-rounder, very, very powerful. It was actually overpowered, or the, not overpowered, but really, really good in the beta. But, uh, yeah, so you get your blaster, and then you got star cards. The first thing that you can unlock is a thermal detonator and a scout pistol. And then after that it's uh, Ion Torpedo, I think. It won't show me the, um, it won't show me the, uh, levels anymore. But even that, like, you, you don't get anything until you get some credits. Which is pretty easy to come by, like Thermal Detonation, or Detonators, it's a hundred. Which you can get after your first game. Scout Pistol is, this thing's a piece of crap, please don't use it. It's, uh, it's really, really bad, like, you shoot it twice. And that's that's it. But it's close range. Like if you miss one of the shots, you won't kill anybody. It's it's ridiculous. But um, and then Ion Torpedo comes. I, I think the next level after that, so three maybe. But then then all this other stuff gets <sighs> okay. So cooling cells, um, ion shot, focus fire, scan pulse. These are all charges. So you can. You can grind more charges, or you can pick them up randomly throughout the battlefield, and you'll maybe find three charges every match, and that's, like, you can't can't use them, or or you you use them, right? They're, they're consumable. So this is a perpetual money pit if you want to be at a competitive level to, like, keep your ion charges or your ion shots up, which makes you deal more damage to... You know, whatever, or your focus fire, which makes you have better accuracy, or your cooling cell, which makes you have infinite heat, or scan pulse, which is wall hacking. It's, and these are, they're pretty close to spammable. So, what, eight second cooldown? And then, and then on top of that, so this is a, a flat upgrade. You don't get access to any of these right off the bat. Um, they give you nothing to start with. And then as you work up, like this is 3000 or something, certs, or not certs, uh, credits. And if you uh, win a match, say if you've been playing for a while, you get 800 to 1,000 if you're, depending on how well you can play, or probably like 500 to 1,000, depending on how well you can play. And and that depends on like if you get heroes or access to vehicles and how much you can farm. <clears throat> but that things will cost like 7,000, and these are flat upgrades. Like you equip this, it's passive, that's it. You don't have to touch it again. It, you're flatly better than everyone else who doesn't have access to it. It's it's really ridiculous. The progression system in this game, I don't know why they decided to take it this round. Oh, and also, so you go here, you unlock it, save for 3,000, then you can upgrade it to make it even better. Like, there's, it's, yes, it's so, yes, it's grind to win. If they were to monetize this game, it would be pay to win. <laughs> it's... I don't know. I don't know why they decided to go this direction. They needed to like give you something to progress forward with. You know, you needed to you need to have things to unlock these carrots on a stick because that's what keeps a lot of people playing, and that's what that's what I enjoy doing. I I do it begrudgingly, uh, but they still could have given you like like at level one, they could have given you your thermal detonator. They could have given you. Uh, an ion torpedo, and then also ion shot. You know, just just lay it all out so you have a full loadout. And then when you unlock some things, it wouldn't be as bad. But then the upgrade stuff, like that doesn't make sense. That's a that's a flat upgrade. That's exactly what it is. You're paying for it. You grind it out. You're better. And what they could have done instead is went with the Call of Duty, like a uh, loadout system. Like they could have given you, uh, you know, X amount of points. And then if you want a thermal detonator, it's it's one point. If you want an upgraded thermal detonator, it's two points. And that'll take, you know, however many points of your loadout's worth. And that would keep everything balanced. That's a smart way to do it. Because you can still do unlocks. And it 
like people will still have something to to progress toward. So I I have no idea where their head was at when coming up with the system. It was a complaint that I had in beta. It's a complaint that I have now, and it really it kills a lot of the um. It doesn't kill a lot of the fun for me, but at the same time, it's it's like a moral thing. Like you eventually, Planet Side Two saw this. Eventually, you are going to get so powerful, or not so powerful, I... Uh, okay, okay let's, let me start over. Planet Side 2, you have a character, right? Character has very, very little. Even before, long ago, it had like nothing. Like, you didn't get a suit slot, you didn't get... Uh, uh, the ability costs were much higher, certifications were more difficult to get, and you had really nothing. So you were at these this huge disadvantage to people who who were already further progressed than you. And skill is a huge factor. In Planet Side 2, the progression is like it's you there's about like a 20% disparity between a fully kitted out player and a not kitted out player. But then you also have to factor in that the people, as they play through the game, they become more attuned to what the current meta is, right? So what the their current strategies revolve around, so how to minimize uh, their like weaknesses or how to maximize our potential rather uh, and that makes it even more difficult for you to get into as a player so it's just these stacking you know sorts of downsides so I don't think that there's so much cheese in this game that that it kind of levels things out like as soon as you unlock your thermal detonator you're gonna be getting kills and kills make you feel good but it might get to a point where people have they they're just really really good about uh, being able to survive and they know where to camp and they know what to use and uh, they, they got better aim and where all the, the spawn locations are and that sort of thing and they'll just they'll ruin your experience maybe not ruin it as bad as something like Planet Side 2 because there's a lot of different frustrations there but they'll really be able to uh, to kick the crap out of out of newer players and discourage them from playing so yeah so it, it's it is grind to win that's that's the short answer, <laughs> even though I gave you the really long one. Yeah, the explosive spam with this game is so real. It is. It really, really is. And that's honestly that's fine because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video about this stuff because it's it's kind of interesting to think about. But the spawn or the downtime in in this game is so minimal. Like when you die, you like you see your your killer, and then you you're instantly back in the fight. That's it. So a few seconds. There is no ridiculous travel time. Uh, a lot of times you just like you'll spawn in and then immediately have things to shoot at. So it it's easy to keep your mind off of the frustrations because it's not uh, you're not being spawn. There's still some situations where you can be spawn camped, but for the most part, it like it keeps you active and doing things. And it's it's downtime that really kills it for people because it allows the frustrations to set in. And you think, you know, well, I could spend, you know, another two minutes walking from the spawn back to the fight. This is Planet Side 2. And then, or I could just quit out and maybe come back later. Or when a, a fight dies, you know, I could just, I'll just quit and just come back when a new one appears. So there's, yeah, there's a lot that, that Planet Side 2 can take from this game and from other games in general. But there's a lot that I, I'd never want Planet Side 2 to ever touch. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and namely, like the the progression grind it's just it's so ridiculous it's so ridiculous <sighs> that's it that's it that's all i got for the stream i'm gonna uh